and I found out that it was a very secretive little place. It was just a lovely green paddock, two or three thousand feet long, you know, and it had one little path in it and a lot of trees. So up in there was an American uh, light aircraft uh, pl uh, place to uh, carry high officers in and out to get up to Winter Castle. Very, very secretive it was. So I got two rides in an aeroplane there. One was a little L5 and the pilot just aimed at the trees, pulled back the flaps and up and over we went. And I thought, I'll never do that again. And another day I had a little truck there I used to drive up and there was a DC-3, you know. They were very, very new planes. wasn't even painted in uh, war gear or anything like that. Beautiful silver. And I'm looking at it and the uh, American pilot said, seen them before? I said, oh, only here, there and not that. He said, would you like a ride? I said, you know, don't break my leg getting in and out. So we got up there and he trimmed the plane uh, once a plane is trimmed, I mean, I don't know if you know that, but everybody does, you do, it, it'll do what you tell it to do. But anyhow, we were heading up and I could see Windsor Castle way up there and I just happened to say to the other pilot, have you ever been shot at with anti-aircraft guns or anything? Oh, no, it's a new plane, I haven't been far. I said, well, in my opinion, if we keep going on this course for about another ten minutes... We'll probably have holes in the wing and everything because nobody can fly over Windsor Castle. Truly. So on next thing we did a big 10-mile trip around there and uh, uh, he let me take the plane. But as I say, once it's trimmed, you, you just sit right there. But that was, that was one of my interesting things.